This is the fourth screencast in a sequence looking at the creation of drag and drop exercises in Excel. And we're creating an exercise that looks a little bit like this. So in the previous three screencasts, we've got as far as this. In the last one, we created these seven shapes and I converted them all into GIF images so that they were much easier to drag. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the top one and I'm just gonna drag it into roughly its right position at the top. I'm gonna to click on the bottom one and drag it roughly in its right position at the bottom. I'm then going to use my arrow tool, so select objects. Sorry, it was already selected, let's reselect that. And I'm going to select all of my boxes. I'm then going to go to the format tab and the align option. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to distribute vertically and then I'm going to align left. So in those two sweeps, it's automatically put them so they're neatly aligned uh, and equally spaced on my page. Um, we can add in our instructions on the right-hand side quite easily, or if they're quite complicated, I could have the instructions on a different sheet, and then you could come to this one to do the exercise. Now, there's a couple more things I'm going to do uh, before we finish it off. First of all, on each of the boxes, I'd actually go through and I'd right-click Properties, sorry, uh, right-click Alt Text, and I'd actually add in some alt text and the alt text would be whatever it is that's inside the box. The reason I do that is uh, now that they're images if I've got a learner who's accessing this with a screen reader although they would find it quite hard to do a drag and drop exercise at least if I've got the alt text uh, on the objects they'd at least know what the uh, items were um, that I'm using. Okay I'll do the rest um, later on but I'll leave them as they are for the moment. Another thing that I'll do is again, I'm going to select all of them in one go and then right click size and properties. And on this case, I'm going to go to the properties option and I'm going to untick where it says locked. That means that when we fi finally finish the sheet, we'll be able to move these and nothing else. So I'll click on close. And all we need to do now is tidy up the uh, sheet so that uh, it looks a lot neater. So on the, um, the Windows icon on the top left corner, Excel Options, Advanced. And if I just scroll down part way, under Display Options for this workbook, I'm going to get rid of the sheet tabs and I'm going to come down a bit further and get rid of the row and column headers and the grid lines. So it's sheet tabs, row and column headers and grid lines. Get rid of those three things there, click on OK and you now see you've got a much cleaner uh, area to work with. I'm then going to go to review and I'm going to protect the sheet. Now I could give it a password if I wanted to but you don't have to. I'm only protecting it so that the students don't sort of do things by mistake. Um, and in fact, I can untick all of the boxes in this case. So if I click on OK, the sheet is now protected. Okay, I would save it at this point. I can then just check it works. And if it works, I can drag these items. But I can't, for example, drag the continuum or move the title. All I can do is drag the items around. And that then tells me that it's worked. And there we've created a drag and drop um, exercise. Now that's taken me less than four screencasts, so that's less than 20 minutes. If I was doing this without explaining it, I could do that easily in half that time, probably eight or nine minutes. Okay, I do these a lot, so I'm a lot quicker than most people, but it's very quick to learn these skills, and you can create some very, very powerful learning objects that can be used in multiple different ways, with different levels of learner, with a minimum amount of input, and I think that is a very, very useful skill to have.